I was going to do another piece because um, in Australia right now. Grace Tame, now an established artist, has come a long way from her days as a two-year-old wearing her father's paint-covered smock. Yeah, I've been doing it since before I can remember. It's always been a way for me to, I guess, deal with all the thoughts that I have in my head, to be able to put them down on paper and process them and actually look at them and to put them on paper as a way to stop my brain from exploding in some other way. <laughs> her colored pencil drawings were recently on display at Jenny and Jim Bump Jewelry in North Hollywood, where her original pieces and prints were for sale. Uh, one of the things that uh, immediately called me out is one of her pieces where it's a dollar instead of a dinner plate. And uh, we that's been hitting home a lot lately. Tame caught Jim Bob's attention one day when she took a photo outside the store and tagged him on Instagram. What I noticed about Grace as a person first was that she was, um, she had a lot of conviction and she was, she's young and sprightly and she just, she has a lot to say. So when I meet people who have a lot to say, it doesn't really matter what their medium is. I always end up exploring what their, what their work is. So I knew that she would have something to say. Tame sets herself apart with drawings inspired by national and global issues such as religion, environmentalism, consumerism, and the oil industry. I like this one because it's, it says everything sort of that all of these pieces say in one image and that's about, it's about consumerism and um, this like materialism that's really prevalent especially in the United States and something that really struck me when I moved here was how um, extreme this consumerist culture is and becoming it's getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> Tame's inspirations are endless ranging from surrealist painters like Salvador Dali and filmmakers like Jean-Pierre Jeunet and anything Monty Python. A lot of sort of political issues, social issues, um, that sort of stuff that makes me think, um, that in turn makes me want to make other people think, if you know what I mean. Tame's process changes with each piece. Depending on the size and overall complexity, the drawing could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days. So a lot of my concepts are surreal, like they're, they're not something that you would see in real life. So, but I try to make them as real as possible. So there's a combination of making it really realistic, like a photograph, and then really not realistic because it's not something that's real. I set up the photograph of the gasoline piece with an actual McDonald's cup and an actual thing of gasoline, and my, it's my friend's hand pouring it in there. So I took a few photographs so I have a reference piece. Tame loves pushing the boundaries of people's perceptions and will continue to challenge social normalities with her art. I think I'll always be making art, um, whatever form it takes. Tame is graduating this semester from City College with an associate degree in theater arts. 